Hello and welcome to the episode 133 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we have the usual two residencies in Hamburg, a day with the press and the premiere of the Let It Be film in New York. As you might expect, we can start with the two residencies. On the 13th of May 1961, the Beatles performed at the Top 10 Club in Hamburg, West Germany. One year later, in 1962, they were still on a stage, this time of the Star Club, and still in Hamburg. On both occasions, their drummer was Pete Best, and both engagements were part of an ongoing residency in the German city, their second and third one ever, respectively. Let's take a giant leap forward to the 13th of May 1968, with John Lennon and Paul McCartney spending all day at the St. Regis Hotel in New York, New York, giving interviews to announce the birth of Apple Corps and explain both what the corporation was and what kind of plans they had for the future. One of the interviewers was Larry Kane, a DJ from the Miami area who had been a rabid fan of the Beatles since their first US arrival in 1964. The interview was shot in color, and it is rather fun to watch. You can find the link to the video in the episode description. During the interview, focusing on Apple, drugs, the 1968 unrest, the Beatles trip to India and other things, John Lennon made a reference to an event happened in Memphis, Tennessee during their 1966 tour. If you're starving for more information, rest assured, we will cover all of that in episode 231 of this very podcast. Finally, on this day in 1970, the Larry B film premiered in New York. None of the Beatles attended. You will remember that the film was initially meant as a TV featurette to accompany the main result of the Get Back project, a proper live performance of the Beatles to be filmed for cinema distribution. As you might know if you followed the first month of What A Fab Day, things didn't go as planned and the shot footage was turned into this film. The Beatles won an Oscar for Lady B in the category Original Song Score, but the film was not appreciated by film critics. After the news of the breakup of the band, they saw it as a documentary on the relationships between the different band members and took exceptions with its technical qualities. The film has never been released on DVD and it has stopped being produced in VHS since the 1980s. In a 2003 interview, director Michael Lindsay Hogg told Entertainment Weekly that he thought Lennon and McCartney liked the film, but Harrison disliked it since it reminded him of an unhappy period of his life. It must not be so, though. When instead of simply restoring the film for its 50th anniversary, it was announced that Peter Jackson was working on a new documentary film called The Beatles Get Back, drawing on all the footage filmed by Lindsay Hogg in January 1969, Paul McCartney commented, I am really happy that Peter has delved into our archives to make a film that shows the truth about the Beatles recording together. Ringo Starr added, There was hours and hours of us just laughing and playing music, not at all like the Let It Be film that came out. There was a lot of joy, and I think Peter will show that. We will see what the new documentary will bring us, hopefully on the 27th of August 2021, Covid allowing. This concludes this episode. In leaving, let me remind you to please visit www.simonmas.com support and to be fab, offering whatever help you can. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.